So to shift into drive, you just put your foot on the brake and this toggles to the left and down. Is there some place that shows a gear? Um, yeah, it shows you, it shows you D here. Oh, there it is. It also shows you D. There's and one. then I see an echo here. Is there yep. uh, an echo? an echo mode. So if you just do the same motion again, it toggles back and forth between drive and eco. So you see oh, it says it. eco there. Mm -hmm. The difference is you'll actually, actually see your range change as well. It's usually about a 10% improvement in range in eco mode. And it dials back your acceleration a bit and also adds more regenerative braking. Okay. As we drive, this is a real-time energy usage screen. Yeah, so push that down to get back into park. Okay. Um, re real-time energy usage. So your electric motor is an 80-kilowatt motor. So mm -hmm. as you drive, you'll see this, this start to, to show how much, of the how much of the motor output you're using. As you decelerate, um, it shows you energy put back into the battery. Mm -hmm. If you turn on your climate control system, you'll see how much kilowatt hours your your climate control is using mm -hmm. so air conditioning would typically use less than the heater would um, and then okay. general other systems in the car that's and the inverter and tran in the bus itself yeah and plus all this display up here as well and it's using in a there's also a dc to dc converter right that, that charges the onboard 12 volt battery as well so we're using about uh what 200 200 watt hours then yeah quarter kilowatt okay and then this will give you some indication if you if you turn the climate control on, um, you'll ha you'll lose two miles range. Okay. And if you're if you're running the heat, you know, it might say turn off climate control to gain ten miles or to gain fifteen miles. Okay. And uh, so that's sort of a one, another thing you can do is you push this button on the steering wheel, it'll show you your reachable range. So oh, you know, now that's miles, cool. Fifty-two miles range. Mm -hmm. And it'll show you the outside circle is 52 miles, and then there's an inner circle of, of 36 miles as well. And you can zoom in on that if you wanted to see. And it'll also show you the charging stations within there. So those two blue plugs are the charging stations. Mm -hmm. You can also hit the nearby stations button. And it'll drive you there. It'll show you, okay, there's one 5 miles away, there's one 2.7 miles away, and you can, you can route to that. SD card based map, so that's going to be a relatively low cost nav system, but it, it adds a little bit of cost when you think about all the eco telematics involved. Yeah, one of the things to talk about telematics is we can update the charge stations in, in real time too. If you hit update stations near current location, like if there was a new station, if there was a new station that was recently installed, we're now connecting to the global data center to check for new charge stations. So it's going to check and it's going to come back and say, there are no new stations because I just, just checked where, 10 minutes ago. Where is that global data center? Um, it's, in, it's in Japan. It's in Japan, yeah. yeah. Okay. So yep. The selected area does not have any new charging stations at this time. Oh, and what's going to be the lease on this vehicle? Uh, 249. 349. 349 right. for the base model. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 32780 is the base MSRP. One last thing before we get going, could yeah. you could you go into that car wings tab? What really is underneath that icon? Yeah. Car wings has you can update update stations, which is the same as what we saw before. Mm -hmm. The battery um, communicates through the same system. Your all of your settings for car wings, messaging, things like that. You can you can set up on this screen. Is there a place where you can, if you wanted to know about, say, the, the eco tree, for example? Yeah. Connect to information center. It'll pull back information on how many eco trees you've you've collected. Okay. How about um, connecting this vehicle to a charging station? Do you have control through a, an app? Can you turn the AC on and the heat on and all that while it's still connected, so it you won't tear up the battery? All right, you can preheat or pre-cool the car with mm -hmm. an app. You can do it through any web-enabled phone. Mm -hmm. you can, we'll have an iPhone app. In fact, I just saw a demo of it yesterday. It's, um, you'll be able to check your state of charge remotely. You can have it send you a text message or email when it reaches, when it, a, certain when it reaches a certain level. Okay. When it, when it completes. Will that be a free app then, I assume? I don't know. I, I imagine. you about your daily eco tree when your travel day was uploaded. This is awesome. I mean, uh, just the fact that it's this is talking to a data center in Japan. Mm -hmm. As of October 6, 30,300 eco trees have been accumulated. <laughs> what is it? Out of all the leaves that are on, or what? Yeah. From tail five emissions. 
deaths have been avoided by the world population of Nissan oh. electric cars. There you go. I was asking. I was going to ask what a what an eco tree exactly is. You'll see it start to build up there okay. as, as we drive. The tree will build, and it's a, it's a tool to allow you to drive more efficiently and get more range out of the vehicle. Makes sense. So that white bar, you want it to be fully white, and as you accelerate, you'll see it all. So you're in eco mode now. Right. It's awfully quiet in here. Do you yeah, have any sound is. deadening? Or is it not even necessary? Well, you guys are going to add no. that goofy sound thing to the car, right? It's, in Japan? It's, yeah, it's on this car. It's on this it car. It is? Yeah. yeah. You'll hear it when you back up, there's a beep. How about it, forward? Forward, it's a, there's a sound as well. Is it always on? or it's only? Hard, you can't hear it from inside the cabin. Oh, good. It's, it defaults on. Um, there is a switch that sound you see by your left knee. That's this off switch. 